This is your typical Blake system, and I don't mean to keep putting down a Blake system. It has its needs, but I'm going to show a couple things that you can do with just a little bit of added cost, not much. I think the biggest advantage of the Blake system is it's the cheapest system. You can't you can't build a climbing system for less money than a Blake system. All it takes is a carabiner. But there's an awful lot you can do by adding just a couple little things to a closed system. And I'll show you what some of those are. One thing uh, a lot of people will do is the first thing they might do to try to help make that tend a little easier so you don't have to keep pushing the knot up is by adding a pulley to the Blake system and it self tends. So in my next configuration, I'll go ahead and use that pulley and show you a couple other things you can do just by adding a Prusik and another carabiner. So far, all I've added is a Prusik. This is an eye to eye Prusik, they're about $20, but if you didn't want to spend the money on that, you can just get a regular uh, Prusik cord and make your own, put an anchor knot on the end of that, and tie a, a friction hitch. There's all kinds of friction hitches that are available that um, have different functions and very safe and just a whole a whole bookload of different friction hitches you can use so that ad adds a lot of variety to what you can accomplish with your friction hitch depending on the system that you want. I am using a splice die on this. Uh, you can use anchor knots as long as you keep the anchor knot away from the friction hitch. But uh, without a lot more expense, you can add a splice die to your climbing line. Another great thing is now you have the capability of keeping those ropes slightly separated so that your fingers aren't getting caught in there. And now with the relocation of the micro pulley, you have the self tanding capability like you did on the Blake's hitch with that pulley. Another cool thing, depending on the configuration of your saddle, is that you can put those on a, the forward D's or forward paws of your saddle and really give that some separation to keep your fingers from getting caught when you're pulling down on your climbing system. Just by adding a Prusik, and I made this one myself with a thimble, it doesn't have to have the thimble, but I made this Prusik myself, it's not very expensive, with the addition of a carabiner and one more micro pulley. Now you could do this without a micro pulley, you can just run it through the, uh, through the carabiner. But the advantage to this, if you really needed, if you had somebody that didn't mind climbing slowly and didn't have a lot of leg strength or whatever, they can use this system now with a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage. So. In my case, with 200 pounds, I only have to pull down on this about 35 pounds to lift myself through the tree. It's a, a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage with a compound pulley. You have 1, 2, 3 legs times 2 legs, making it a 6 to 1 compound uh, pulley system and a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage. The other really neat thing about this is that if I wanted to do a pickoff, if I wanted to help somebody off, I could set this system up for the pickoff. I now have a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage. And I'll go to the tree today and we'll put a, um, a scale on this. And we'll see what kind of uh, mechanical advantage, how much pull I can get with this setup. This is a CE lanyard. I just have a, a cambium saver installed in it for a kind of a mini climbing system. But uh, climbing like this is a 2 to 1 mechanical advantage. This is a hand ascender that I almost always have with me. And I'll be interested to see, again, the ideal mechanical advantage with this configuration in the hauling configuration would be uh, 5 to 1. So I'll be interested to see what kind of mechanical advantage I actually get. Again, a climbing system it's, makes it a 6 to 1 if I do that. In a hauling, it's 5 to 1, and in a regular climbing configuration or a lanyard configuration, it's 2 to 1. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, two CMI pulleys and a leather cambium saver to see what kind of a pickoff strength, pickoff force we get. And there we're set at zero. There I'm standing on it, and I'm seeing 500, 520 pounds, more or less. So we've lost about 50%, but that's just that's just going through a, a leather cambium saver and two CMI pulleys. Something that you could easily have on the end of a Blake's hitch. And only a loss of 50%. Alright, these are components. This is my CE lanyard. A component that I climb with very often, especially in tall trees. But all I've added to the CE lanyard is the uh, Kong hand ascender and the DMM revolver wire gate carabiner. Again, these are things that I almost always have while I'm climbing. Climbing, and we have zero. Let's see what our pickoff capability is. That's slacked, everything's slacked, 360.